we're going to continue on with the grid system in Bootstrap. Now, of course, we made six columns in the last couple videos. We made a six column grid. And let's just go ahead and take a look at that. We'll load this up in Chrome really quick. And there you can see we've got our six columns. But the great thing about Bootstrap is they make it really, really easy to resize these grids. And that's the great thing about this framework. You can arrange these in any style, in any manner you want in terms of size. And so that's what we're going to do in this video. Because once you have everything in place, it gets a lot easier to go ahead and rearrange the page in the way you want to. Maybe you have a different website you're developing and you want it to look a little differently. You can do it very easily once you have your basic code in place. And so again, that's what we're going to do in this video. We're going to go ahead and rearrange some of these columns. So we're going to go ahead and switch to a three column setup. And what we want to do is go ahead and make the center column larger than our left and right column. That will be our main content area. We want to have one big large content area. So let's go ahead and do that. So first what we're going to do is go ahead and comment out these last three columns. So let's go ahead and put in some nice HTML comments. It's best not to delete these. I like to just comment them out in case I want to come back and use them again. And there we go. These three columns now are commented out. And then again, we're just going to have these three columns in our grid. And let's switch the name of these because we're now going to have more of a standard layout. So we're going to name this column side left. We'll call our middle column main col for main column, of course. And then we'll call this one side right. Good. Now, Remember what I talked about in the last video, these classes right here that control the columns. This format where it starts out with COL, of course, for column. And then this is the type of device we want the column to scale on. And of course, in this case, this was for desktop. And we're going to continue using that. But here's really the critical one, this number at the end. Remember, this controls the size of the column. I believe you can take this up to 12, if I recall. You guys can go ahead and look that up. But I usually don't ever make it that high. But in any case, let's go ahead and increase the size of our center column because now we want this to be our main content area. So we're going to make this six. And let's go ahead and increase the size a little bit since we have more room on our page now of our left and right sidebars. So we'll make this three and we'll make this three. Let's go ahead and save this and let's see what this looks like. And there you can see, take a look. Now you see how easy that is to do now? It's so easy to rearrange these columns. So go ahead and play around with this quite a bit. I want you to go ahead and put different numbers in, maybe make a four column or five column, whatever you want. Go ahead and play around with this now that you have a really good understanding of how you can size the particular columns specifically to what you want in Bootstrap.